Hello and welcome to Geek Up Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial I wanted to look into DAS Studio. And the bridge is very easy and nice for using and rendering layers, but there's a lot more to this. And the key purpose of 3D Bridge is connecting the powerful um, raster imaging tool in Photoshop to a very powerful 3D rendering tool in DAS Studio. So DAS Studio not only allows you to set up the models and the textures and the positions, but it also provides a way to set up the lights and type of lighting so that you can match your photo compositions in Photoshop. To set up lights, let's go to the Create menu, and inside the drop-down we'll have New Point Light, Distant Light, and Spotlight. Think of the distant light as the ambient light or the sunlight, and the point light is a single ball of light like floating in the air, emitting in all directions. And the spotlight is pretty self-explanatory. And one thing you need to remember, the minute you create a new light, all the default ambient lighting in your scene will be disabled. So, for example, let's create spotlight and click accept. And you'll notice it's turned dark. And we only have light right here where the spotlight is currently pointing. Okay, to locate our spotlight, let's expand expand the uh, scene tree and this menu will allow us to select our scene items directly. Go ahead and click on the spotlight and this section will allow us to modify the light. We need to also enable our tool so we can modify that. And if you don't have your tools displaying, you can click to the tools menu and then select translate. You'll see here that we have our gizmo so we can modify our spotlight. And notice that as we move the spotlight, the areas that are directly affected by the light become lighter, and the other parts are cast with shadow, and it becomes a little bit darker. In this way, we'll be able to better match the lighting in our background matte painting. Now, if you want to, you can set up um, the distant light, which will give you better global illumination. And any of these lights you can select in your scene tree, and then you can adjust the settings for that light in the parameters tab. Here, you can modify color, positioning, intensity, and the shadow type. And to get a better idea of how all these options work, I highly recommend that you check out our other tutorials for DAS Studio. Okay, so when you're done with your settings, click here to minimize it. And you can choose the bridge menu to click Update Image and to render to a new layer. Let's move this a little bit. So now you have the new elephant image with the new lighting that we added. Okay, and now it's your turn and take some time and experiment a little bit and set up your own lighting for your models and your scenes and just have fun. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. If you're looking for some more tutorials and some great content, please come and visit us on the web at www.geekatplay.com.